I am ready after talking to my number one source in a massive Zoom call this morning. We detailed Caleb Downs' current recruitment, his entire timeline since childbirth until right this very moment as he's in Columbus on an official visit. And guys, I am ready to put, you know, put my reputation on the line and I am ready to make a bold prediction and say that Caleb Downs will be publicly in the Ohio State class by the end of July. My number one source always wins one way or another. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Caleb Downs, the superstar freshman safety who has a minimum of two years left in college. He's already one of, if not the best safeties in college football, ends up transferring to Ohio State and kind of a surprise decision a lot of people expecting with the relationships at Georgia that's where he would go he would stay in the SEC it's not happening Ohio State the behemoth has awoken after Michigan beats them three straight times wins the national title Ohio State now putting together a ridiculous 2024 defensive roster when you're talking about the amount of five-star talent Returning JT to a Malowau, Jack Sawyer, CJ Hicks likely going to start at one of the linebacker spots, Sonny Styles, Caleb Downs now, Denzel Burke returning. It is an immense amount of talent. Tyleek Williams as well. You can go on and on the depth on this roster with Cody Simon, the Jermaine Matthews. I mean, it is just a ridiculous defensive roster. It's like the Death Star of defenses here, this Ohio State 2024. And then how about Jutkins? You know, now there's rumors that the five-star quarterback, who's a top five overall player in this class because he's able to transfer Julian Sayan will be also transferring to Ohio State. There was a previous relationship there with Bill O'Brien. He recruited him previously at Alabama. Sayan was Ohio State's first choice. He chose Bama, so Ohio State had to adjust, and, and that's how they ended up getting Aaron Nolan. It'll be interesting to see what happens if they do get Sayan. You know, do, does Aaron Nolan and Sayan compete next year for the starting job? You would imagine Will uh, Howard is going to be the starter this year for sure because normally true freshman QBs, at least early on in the season, don't play. But Ohio State, they're just, they're, they're pissed off. They're angry. Their NIL collective has finally gotten it together. That was one of the big criticisms about Ohio State. What's going on with their NIL? They do these surveys. Ohio State always has the number one fan base in college football. You know, you'd think their boosters would be able to pay for some of these players and now they finally are ponying up a lot of the fans I guess are donating as well and their NIL is going crazy right now their defense is ridiculous and the other unique thing about Ohio State you think these teams joining the Big Ten Ohio State's 2024 schedule is going to be hard yeah not really taking a look at it they've got a ridiculously easy non-conference Akron Western Michigan and Marshall all at home and then they're at Michigan State they get Iowa at home. That's basically a free 5-0 and start, you would figure. And they're two tough games on the road at Oregon and on the road at Penn State, possibly the whiteout game. They get Michigan at home. And Michigan is going to be the other topic of what I want to talk about today because this is just a crazy situation. I mean, obviously, if you're a Michigan fan, you can't be angry or anything like that with how the offseason has transpired. Whatever happens, happens. You still have crazy bragging rights as long as the NCAA doesn't take away your national championship or anything like that. You won the national title, so you're going to have that bragging right for a while now. There was the whole thing with Michigan having the massive drought. You know, they kind of split the national championship with Nebraska in the late 90s. People were arguing it. Well, now they are undisputed 15-0. and And again, as long as the NCAA, when they do their investigation into the cheating scandal, as long as they don't take it away, Michigan fans, they should be perfectly happy. The thing that I would do right now if I'm Jim Harbaugh, and he's already interviewing, there's potential, maybe the, the Chargers. He's also interviewing with the Falcons twice. You got to get out of there, man. I mean, you're facing a suspension. Your quarterback is leaving. Ohio State, you're going to be on the road at Ohio State. If I'm Jim Harbaugh, this is a perfect moment for this. Quit while you're ahead. Quit, leave, you leave Michigan a legend, 15-0, three straight wins against Ohio State, a national championship, undefeated, beating Alabama in the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, 
it's the most obvious thing ever. Quit while you're ahead. This Ohio State team is a behemoth going into 2024, and you're going to have to travel into Columbus with a brand new quarterback. Michigan, I'm guessing they're going to have some ace up their sleeve when it comes to a transfer portal QB. There's no way you would think the starter is currently on their roster. I know they have that backup who kind of came in and did some QB sneaks, and he's kind of a gadget player, but I would expect Michigan, maybe it was going to be Talia Tango Bailoa until he got his waiver decli- declined and now he has to declare for the draft. But either way, this is the perfect moment if you are Har- Harbaugh. You're going to be suspended. It's a mess. Who knows what happens? Even if Michigan doesn't face sanctions, best case scenario, you come out of it, maybe with only a few game suspension, you've still got a ridiculously hard early season schedule. You face Texas in the non-conference. Texas is fully reloaded. They've gotten some great transfer portal players. Just leave Michigan a legend. You know, if you come back, you risk possibly going 8-4, and 7-5, and five, getting crushed by Ohio State because I would imagine that last game of the season, I mean, listen, we'll see what Michigan does in the portal, but right now Ohio State, and I know we always say this, Ohio State, the offseason champions, but this is a little bit different. I mean, Ohio State, they have not done this recently where they go in and they say, we don't care that this kid was at Alabama that he's in SEC country, that Georgia has relationships, that they're the favorite. We're just going to take this kid. We don't care. We will pay whatever it costs. It doesn't matter. Now, Ohio State, they did have previous relationships with Caleb Downs. They recruited him. They might have been the leader, you know, maybe throughout his recruitment, at least during a portion of it. But it's a situation where it's like this team is going full Death Star. They're pissed off. They're angry. They've lost three straight times to Michigan. Ryan Day understands his job is on the line. And it looks like he's going to be big favorites at home against Michigan next year. Again, it is the offseason. Anything can happen. Certainly, I'm not ruling out Michigan going on the road into Columbus and winning that game because they've just been so great the past few years. Now, you could argue maybe the cheating has something to do with it. Uh, But even without that, they were able to beat Ohio State. But Ohio State was starting Kyle McCord. And I do think people are kind of underestimating Will Howard. I think he's going to be a good upgrade for the Buckeyes. Although if you wanted to say maybe a weakness for Ohio State, you would look at the offensive line and you would look at the quarterback. Those would be the two weak areas. The running back tandem is ridiculous. The receivers are ridiculous. The entire defense is ridiculous. It would really only be the quarterback, maybe a little lackluster, maybe not up to the C.J. Strout, Justin Field standard, but I do think Will Howard is significantly better than Kyle McCord. He's way more mobile, uh, in my opinion, and then you also do have the situation with the offensive line. How about Alabama? My goodness, this this is very, very concerning, and, and this is also concerning if you're Michigan, looking at what's happening to Alabama with their head coach retiring What if Harbaugh actually does leave? Where does that leave our roster? Does it get picked through? Do all of our good players enter the the portal? We're already losing our starting quarterback to the draft to J.J. McCarthy declaring about a week ago. It'll be interesting to see how these things work out. And it's like, will this put trepidation in programs' minds when it comes to firing their head coach? Because if you fire your head coach, unless you have an immediate replacement who's already has like a really nice relationship with all of the players, like you cannot make the same mistake that Alabama is making right now. By the way, I heard Michigan's defensive coordinator who was also involved in that cheating scandal, Jesse Minter, who is really highly thought of. Apparently he's leaving. Uh, He might be going to the NFL, but he's gone for sure. He doesn't want to stick around for the punishment. He was seen on video talking to Stallions during the games, during the plays, So he's dipping, he's gone, and I would imagine a lot of those coaches, maybe if Harbaugh, there's speculation that Harbaugh will bring a bunch of the Michigan coaches to his staff, possibly uh, when he goes to the Chargers, if that is the team he ends up picking. There's multiple teams he's been interviewing with. He does do this. He's done this in past years, but this is kind of a different situation with also a suspension hanging over his head. You would think, especially after winning the national title, you could ride off into the sunset not have to worry about any of this mess, not have to worry about this Ohio State defense, go to an NFL team, you went 15-0, and 0, 
You know, you ended up winning three straight against Ohio State to end out your Michigan career. It's a quit while you're ahead situation. And for Michigan, they're going to have to pick up the pieces if that does happen. Because if you lose your head coach, you're looking at what's been happening to Alabama, what's been happening to Washington. You know, these teams get picked apart by the transfer portal. How about Washington possibly? I mean, what are they going to be next year? Six and six, five and seven? They're going to have a brutal year next year. They they're, they're, Their roster's been completely destroyed by their head coach leaving and going to Alabama. And Alabama's roster has also been destroyed. I am surprised that Alabama, based on Nick Saban's age, based on how long he's been the coach there, did not have a legitimate option in-house to where... I mean, it is hard. Like, it's just a weird situation. Because what Ohio State did is they had Ryan Day already on the roster, but Ohio State also wasn't dealing with this transfer portal ridiculousness where these kids can just go wherever they want, leave immediately, be immediate el- um, immediately eligible. So it is a different situation. Teams are going to have to be very careful about firing head coaches because their roster could get crushed, just like what's happening to Alabama, possibly what happens to Michigan, uh, depending on that situation. Uh, but yeah, Alabama, this is pretty crazy because... The Saiyan, the true freshman, five-star QB, if Ohio State does end up getting him, again, I don't think he'll play much as a true freshman. Normally, quarterbacks don't, unless it's like later in the season and maybe Will Howard is struggling. But yeah, this is crazy with what, what Ohio State is doing and what they're putting together on the defensive side of the football, returning basically everyone on the defense outside of Michael Hall, the defensive tackle, who's probably going to be a second or third round pick we would expect. They're returning everyone, and they were already a top five defense, and now you bring in Caleb Downs, possibly better linebacker, CJ Hicks, Cody Simon. It is going to be a pretty crazy how loaded this defense is, but either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.